Hello everybody, welcome back to the Crypt of Horrors at long, long last. We're still alive, despite 2021's very best efforts to kill us. Uh, so, in the meantime, we've uh, crewed quite a lot of cool things to show you. And we're going to start off with our pickups from Nightmare Toys and Spirit Halloween, which is finally open. Uh, I actually didn't know they were open until somebody started mentioning it on Facebook, and uh, we ran out there. But first, let's start with uh, one of my favorite companies, Nightmare Toys. They have a lot of great stuff from NECA, and uh, pretty much anywhere else that sells like good quality horror stuff. So uh, I have a thing for props, so I got the Trick or Treat Studios Chucky Voodoo Knife prop. It's a lot larger than I thought it would be. Like, I thought it would be, like, eh, you know, kind of closer to what it is in the movie and not, uh, damn. It looks good, though. And I've been on kind of a Leslie Vernon thing recently, so I got the Leslie Vernon uh, sickle, which is actually pretty sturdy. I think there's, there might actually be a metal rod in that. So, I have a real one of these. It's not quite the same model, but it's close, and this is this is pretty good. So, it was cheap, too. It was like, I think, $15. What else did we get from Nightmare Toys? Oh, yeah. We also grabbed the Trick or Treat Studios uh, 1 6 scale Michael Myers. Uh, they were out of the normal ones, so we got the Sam Hain edition, which is basically just the same 1978 Myers figure, just uh, splattered with blood. And you can see him in all his glory there. So, for some reason, they decided to package him in the mirror from Legend. So, uh, awful lot of glare. You can see the Crypt of Horrors in the background here. But, uh, I haven't taken it out of the box, and I haven't decided if I am going to take it out of the box, because it is... You know, where am I going to put it exactly, you know? But it is a handsome figure, and it's very well sculpted from what I can tell. So It was not cheap either, but uh, I'm, you know, I've wanted something in this scale for Michael for a while, and so when the opportunity came, A. We also picked up some stuff from Fright Rags, uh, starting with our Fangoria Pride shirt, which... Uh, when they first released this a few years ago, it sold out, like, right away, and I was kind of bummed I couldn't get one. Uh, but during quarantine, uh, you've probably noticed I've gained a shameful amount of weight, <laughs> uh, and I actually needed new clothes, so I started ordering things from all my favorite companies again, so uh, that's where this came from. And on top of that, from Freight Rigs, we also picked up the Romero... Godfather of Horror, I think is what this model was called. It's uh, Romero with um, all of his movies represented in this art, and it was pretty cool. So I kind of like this long sleeve look thing that they're doing. So, uh, and this was on sale too, so I can't really say no to a sale. And then moving on to Spirit Halloween, which is actually pretty stacked. So I saw a lot of the Halloween Kills masks, but I personally am not a fan of the big battle damage thing it's got going on, so I didn't pick it up. However, Spirit Halloweens have started carrying Fright Rag shirts, and I got the last one they had in stock. So, I love Creepshow, and it was my size, and perfect. This next one was kind of corny a bit. Uh, but I personally enjoyed the joke. Like, they had hand towels with uh, wires on them. Have a knife day, and it's like... I have a friend who used to tell really bad pun jokes, and they kind of reminded me of him a little bit, so it was like... Normally, I would be mad at this, but it's okay. <laughs> so, and they were inexpensive, too, so... Plus, it's like a set, so... Yeah. You get this other one with a... Kind of nice pattern. They also had Have a Knife Day as a doormat, but they were actually sold out of that one. 
Or because I'm a sucker for cool stuff, I did buy two doormats. So, they had a Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake doormat. So these are kind of thick doormats. If, you, if you've ever played a card game, actually, and you have playmats, they feel kind of like beefed up playmats. Like they're kind of, see how they kind of fold like that? Like they're not particularly thick. Um, they even kind of smell like a playmat too. And the front isn't very, the front isn't very tough. Like this is just like a, it almost feels like just like a felt layer. Like I feel like if you had this on your porch for like a couple of years, like it would come apart. Um, but if you're just putting it out at Halloween, hey, perfect. It'll last you a while, I bet. And, you know, I'm just putting this in the entryway to the crypt, so. It's not going to be exposed to the elements. And our second one, like, I wanted to get the Halloween one too, because I got the Crystal Lake one because it was the last one they had, like, and there were some empty spaces on the shelf, so they clearly had had a few of the other doormats. Like, I had kind of scouted what was available online before I went. And so that was kind of a credit opportunity, but I think this is the one I'll actually put, like, outside. So, uh, they got the tag covering Michael's face, but, you know, welcome, we've been expecting you. So I think this is what I'll actually have outside the crypt. So, and, you know, same deal, same material, you know, kind of this thick, uh, I want to say rubber, I guess. You know, not not too bad. You know, it's it was twenty two. You know, Spirit. You usually can find coupons for like twenty percent off, so not a bad deal. And they do look really nice too, like even if they may be somewhat flimsy. And again, you know, if you're using this inside, like I don't think you're gonna have a problem. Like if you're in the middle of the woods and you're you know wiping mud and stuff on them like regularly then yeah maybe they they feel like they'd probably fall apart like under really heavy duty use but mm, would you really use them for that though so uh, what else did we get in that trip oh i think we've gone through all of our uh, spirit halloween and trick-or-treat studios goodies so uh yeah so special thanks to uh, my friends at nightmare toys for Sending me all that stuff, uh, go check out their website. Uh, they didn't pay me to sponsor them or anything, I just like them. <laughs> so I will be back soon with uh, more pickups videos because boy do we have a lot of movies to show you. Uh, and of course, uh, other stuff too. <laughs>